Good day. This is Max Drake. Um, I just want to talk about um, uh, the next part of the process. We've got a button now where we can get, if we press it, uh, we can come through and start uploading files. So we can choose uh, the, the company that's um, uh, doing the work, what the issue was, and if they completed it, we can actually add a file here and then we submit it and it gets downloaded onto this form response five page. This can be renamed, so it's not a problem at all. It's linked through. Um, so this is it's quite easy. One of the problems is that we suddenly get a cluster of five images all the way through here and we can't use them. They, if you just try clicking, if you click on a single link, uh, if you touch one of those, you'll see the link comes through and you can click on it and it'll open it up. If you've got the five coming through, you can't do a damn thing. So what we need to do is break these out so that they're usable. And the reason why I think it's important is a lot of the times one photo never is enough. You actually need a couple of photos. So I actually want to make sure that we can manage this to, in, a, in a way that you can get those out. So the first thing I started to do was to do a little bit of analysis on those. So I actually went through and asked, what is the length of a normal link? So I just did a little ask of that there. And if I just drag that all the way down, you'll see that all of those um, links, single images ones, are all 66 long. So a link is 66 um, units long. So I can actually go into this one where I've got multiple. I can just grab one of the first ones there, or just one so it's easy to grab, and I bang it in there. And you see that one's also 66. So the first thing is we have a little bit of knowledge. We know there's a bit of information about this. One of the ways that I was thinking about stripping this one out was to actually iterate through it and actually just go through and break a bit apart and then grab another bit and then grab another bit and every time look at maybe HTTPS. Every time I see that, grab a certain amount of string. That was one method to do it. And I thought, well, since it's very, very logical, I can actually just go equals left and go open brackets, this cell here, give me the first 66 characters. And there I got my first link. Cool, I can do that. So I can do that for the next one. I can say, okay then, mid this cell here. And uh, I know there is 66 characters, then there's a comma, then there's a space, then there's another one. So if I've got 66 and a comma, 67 and a space, 68, and then the next one is 69. So if I go 69 and then give me 66 characters, there's my next link, and so on and so forth, so that I can go through and calculate. Now the next one along is going to be 68 plus 69. So again, I've done these formulas at the top here. So the first one's 69, the second one's 132nd, the second one's 205, and the last one is uh, 273. So that's all they are there. So if I just, I, so again, I'm just heading out the formula. There's nothing more educational. This one here, because there's only one link, it only comes through into the first cell. With this one here, if I just grab those formulas there and drag them down, it splits them all out so that I actually have them individually. So now I've got them individually, I can process them um, uh, so that they're accessible. So if I just come through here, and if I just blow away these other ones here, um, and we just delete that, I'm just going to take these formulas, and I'm going to drag them down all the way through. Now I just want you to be aware what's going to happen next. I'm going to go back into the defects issue, and I'm going to choose another one, and I'm just going to choose the first items coming through, and I'm going to add a file. I'm going to find a small file, and we're going to upload it. And when it uploads, um, we've got the upload. So that's uploaded it into Google Drive, and now we're going to submit it onto the form. So it's then going to go and get that link from the uploaded file, and it's going to put it onto the form. And there it's brought it forward. But you see there's nothing there. If we look, the formula's down below, the formula's up above, but every time a new row comes through, it just blows out all the data that it actually has. If you look at my um, personal finance app that I was working on, you'll see I actually have a process of solving this. And the way that I use this is with some app scripts. And there's a video on how I actually just take um, the formula and I copy it from cell two all the way down to the last row. So I repopulate after an on change. So after there's been a change, an additional line, it then repopulates that formula so that that comes down. So that way it resets up. So that then has set these up ready to be copied. Now I could copy these ones across 
Um, so this one's going to the wobbly handrail. Now I'd want to copy that one across and I want to bring it to my issue sheet to the landy wobbly handrails and put, put it into there. Now if I just do a V here, you see something weird's happening because it's actually calling left S566, which it shouldn't do. I actually need to paste special only the value and then it'll actually paste the link there. So I actually want to bring that through, but I've got a bit of a dilemma here in that the way that my app works at this point in time is that if I've got something happening here and I can actually do the switch and switch this over. And if I switch this over, what it does is it deletes it from the um, issue sheet and puts it on the form sheet. So suddenly um, I'll get an error thrown up because it can't find uh, this particular issue on the issue sheet. But again, they may actually get the images and upload the images first, then do the switch. So it could be on either sheet. It's just the way that the process. Now I could lock down the process in one way, but we're going to assume that somebody's going to have to cover it up. You know, whatever you can think of doing, they can think of another way of napping it up. So we want to make something more robust. So what we'd actually have to do is go and check this issue to see if it's on the issue sheet. If it's not on the issue sheet, then go and look on the fixed sheet. And if it's on the fixed sheet, then copy these images across onto cells inside the fixed sheet. So that's something which I have to do next. I, um, so that's the next part of the process in getting those images into a specific point um, in my uh, in this particular um, app that's doing this um, defects list at this point in time. I hope that's been of interest to you. Thank you very much for watching. Can you give the video a thumbs up, please? I would really appreciate it. Thank you very much.